guys, welcome to the video. Today I'm going to be going over some Ipsy Glam Bag X spoilers for November of 2022. The curator for November is Becky G, which I am extremely excited about. She is an incredible artist, an incredible human being, and I think you guys are going to really like these spoilers. I am actually pretty excited about the spoilers, like on the real. Usually we have some really good items, but I'm seeing so many items here that I'm just like yes 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 so I hope that you enjoy I feel like we have maybe 15 spoilers here that we're gonna go over um but you know who, who's counting anyways if you are into these types of videos for me then definitely give this video a big thumbs up but don't forget to subscribe it would mean so much especially if you've clicked on this video and you're not already subscribed it would mean a lot to me and let's go ahead and get started Okay, so the very first spoiler to show you is actually from Too Faced, and it's not from Too Faced like a mascara or a liner. It's an eyeshadow palette, and this is the Too Faced Sweet Peach eyeshadow palette. I haven't seen this palette in a very long time. It's one of their like staple palettes, um, an OG, everyone loves, very universally flattering, and um, this is actually really exciting to see. Uh, mostly because it's a Too Faced eyeshadow palette and it's one of their most iconic palettes. It's not one of those like palettes that really sucked. It's a throwaway palette. This is actually a legit palette that I've never personally tried. So I, I would love to get this if I had the X, which I'm not sure if I'm going to get the X because um, the Alicia Keys X I actually got for my Ipsy PR. Uh, usually we just get the regular and the Glam Bag Plus, but they sent us the X last time, so I wonder if they're going to send us the X again. That would be actually really cool, and I would hope for the Peach Palette because I've just, I've never had it. I've never gotten to experience the iconic Too Faced Peach Palette. Like this, when it came out years ago, was like a hit on YouTube. Like everyone that was, anyone was using this palette. I'm excited. Um, another spoiler is from Milk Makeup. This is the Rise Lifting and Lengthening Mascara. Haven't personally tried this mascara. I have tried the Milk Makeup Mascara that's in the silver packaging. Was not much of a fan, but based off of just the photo and the wand, it probably would be a lot better than the other one. I think it was like the Kush, Milk Kush uh, mascara and then I had a primer as well. Not much of a fan of those so we'll see if we get this if I like it or not. Then we have from Byro. This is the Rose Tea Eye Cream. I know a lot of people hate getting eye creams because you just kind of keep getting eye creams in like every subscription but this is a really really good brand. It's not one of those like brands that you're like who is this? I've never heard of you kind of brand. Like this is a legit brand and I feel like this would be a really good eye cream and then we have a ultra matte liquid lipstick in the shade pink vibes from Kenya 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 own to this this brand um I can't pronounce it um I feel like they're relatively new they don't have but a few thousand subscribers on Instagram and I've only seen them in Ipsy so I feel like they're a new brand probably you know an indie brand that you know is an Ipsy now because that's the only time I've ever heard of them. Um, so we just have this uh, matte liquid lipstick which is actually a really cute color so love that for us. And then let's get on to some more spoilers that are just as incredible. So from Tres Luce Beauty, uh, Tres Luce, I think that's how you say it. That's Becky G's brand, which is also a sister brand manufactured, whatever, by Ipsy. Um, this is the I Am Shadow Palette, which this is actually super cute because you have a lot of neutrals in here. So you can have like an everyday neutral look. You have oranges in here, which is a nice fall transitional type situation. Then you have blue, you have pink, you have yellow, like you have colors in here that's like an all year round palette <laughs> all in one so this is actually a really exciting palette for someone who you know likes color but also likes neutral neutral with a pop of color color on the lower lash line inner corner kind of situation and just kind of it all in one this is kind of cool like the palettes then we have from Tarte Cosmetics probably the best product in here I haven't personally tried this one 
I'm just kidding about it being like the best product, but I really like this specific. Um, this is from Tarte Cosmetics, the Maracuja Juicy Lipstick. I have not tried the lipstick, but I have tried the Maracuja Lip uh, Juicy, which is amazing. So I'm sure that this one is going to be equally as amazing, and I would hope to get this because... I love them so much. Um, so next we have from Artist Couture, the Love Sprung Palette. Now when this released, um, I actually was like debating on buying it because this this blush palette is beautiful. It's like so pretty and I love that first shade in there. That's such a good like fall type color, very mauve um, with like a purple tone to it. Just it's pretty okay you guys can see that it's like exceptionally pretty I love that so much so that's another like slam dunk product in here and then from herbivore botanicals we have the pink cloud moisture cream now we usually see these boxes being extremely skincare heavy but I'm okay with these boxes being skincare heavy if it's good skincare and this is good skincare so this is the second skincare item that we've seen in spoiler so far and it is another really great product I have heard of this product I have heard nothing but good things about this product and I feel like this is going to be great for the fall crusty face when your face starts getting super dry and you need some moisturizer like my face is already starting to get a little crusty dusty so I skipped my primer today and I just put my strawberry 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 Charlotte Tilbury uh, magic cream on to moisturize my face before because I needed it before the makeup so this will be a really good product and then we have from Anastasia Beverly Hills the loose setting powder this is a powder that I'm pretty sure like everyone has used before I've had this only in a mini size I've never actually had it in a full size because like I, I have so many powders I get so many powders that I just haven't needed to go buy it but this is also a powder that I know that my friends have and they buy it from TJ Maxx um, <laughs> whenever they need more it's like TJ Maxx always has this product not all of them but I know one location that I go to has it but the other one never does so um, this is one of those products that's like yay but also you can get this at TJ Maxx <laughs> so the value for the box isn't completely there for me but as a whole it's a great powder and you will love it despite it being in TJ Maxx that's just like an added note um, but I digress okay and now let's go on to a few more spoilers and these are some more skincare uh, spoilers <laughs> First, we have one of my all-time favorite skincare brands. We have Tula, okay? Tula is always here to win. We love Tula. I purchased Tula. I give them my cash. Tula Clay Date Detoxing and Toning Face Mask Stick. This is going to be a really great product just to revitalize the face, okay? We love that. We love Tula. Yeah, you have nothing to worry about when it comes to Tula. We love. Then we have a product from Elemis. We also love Elemis. This is the Soothing Apricot Toner. So, of course, you put it on a little cotton pad and then you tone your face and you do your toner like first. Toner is like one of the first steps that you do in your skincare. Um, at least that's what I've heard and that's what I do because I use a Tula toner that I've been repurchasing for like the last year <laughs> um so this is great to have um then we have something from living proof and y'all it's the triple bond complex so we have a hair product we love that living proof is also like top tier good when it comes to hair care any kind of brand living proof is up there so i love to see that and then lastly we have a product that i've actually seen for a very very long time and i just never tried and i i find it to be really interesting the the packaging and like the way it looks this is from stila cosmetics and i feel like no one talks about stila anymore 2013 2014 I feel like Stila was like all the rage it was like you're not cool if you don't have Stila in your collection well this is the Stila one step correct skin tone correcting and brightening primer this is interesting I literally forgot this product existed because I'm like oh yeah I remember this 
I remember this and I can't believe we're seeing it again. <laughs> it's been so long. Um, I'm actually really excited to see this. So that's another really super exciting spoiler. Um, let me just take a quick little look to see if there is any more spoilers I missed. Um, so I can add that in to this video so I don't have to like make a whole nother video. You know what I'm saying? So let me just do a little Google search. Okay, so we do have a few more spoilers to go over. So we have the, um, oh, what is this? It's from Pen Rose, and I can't really see, but I believe this is like a perfume. So that's exciting. Um, and then we have a product from Tower 28. This is the SOS um, something. It's like a setting face spray from Tower uh, 28 and then we have from also Becky G's brand Trey Luce it's a highlighter palette or maybe a highlighter blush palette um, but I think it's just a highlighter palette it doesn't say but I see it in the photo so there's that <laughs> so that is everything let me know your thoughts and opinions down below are you excited about the glam bag X this time around I'm actually pleasantly supply supplied Wow, words are hard. I'm pleasantly surprised this go around of these spoilers because these products are so good and I'm not seeing too, too much skincare. There's a lot of makeup in here. So Becky G is really rocking it. So thoughts and opinions down below. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.